Amen. In this video, I'm gonna be giving y'all the best jump shots, the best tips to be lights out, okay? Out of 13 solo rec games live, I am shooting 103 point percent. The shots I have missed were complete accident fluke shots, okay? I know every bro, I'm you're gonna be a lights out shooter, okay? I'm gonna give you the tips, how to get your hot spots the fastest, your badges the fastest. Every now look, share this to a friend. I play solo rec, nobody knows how to shoot, okay? I'm running into point guards, making builds with no shooting on their build. It's horrible, it's a sickness. The only way to have fun on 2K is to know how to shoot. If you can't shoot, you ruin your teammates fun and your fun. Learn to shoot before playing online, please. It's very easy now. It's like 2K22, bro. I'm shooting 100, bro, I didn't used to be able to shoot on max release speed, even on T-Mac consistently. Now it's like, it everything's just green. I'm playing solo rec, so it's not like people are hitting me at the right times. They're always hitting me at wrong times. I got a four shots and I'm still shooting lights out, bro. Okay? I'm still being unstoppable. But yeah, before we get into all that, y'all make sure y'all hit that goddamn like button. Help me get 300 likes within the first hour. Hit the like button so the vid can grow, so we can teach the community to shoot the goddamn rock. <laughs> no one can shoot. Look at this, look at this. You see this? Murder, you feel me? I'm being quadruple teamed all game. No one can shoot. You feel me? Come on, dog. Come on, dog. <laughs> Come on, dog. This is just a, I'm, I'm just showing y'all, bro. Y'all gotta learn how to shoot. Now, firstly, before we get in, this is, I think this is the best jump shot in the game, by the way. This blend in everything. I think this is the best jump shot in the game. I'm gonna tell you my release timing right now. Now look, I use push now. I used to use release, but now I use push, and guess what, I'm gonna give you the sauce, right? You focus on your wrist, right? When your wrist is about to hit the top, everything will be green. Just change your life. <laughs> Just change your life, dog. Just change your life, dog. Just change your life. Oh, God, I just changed your life. And to get all your hot spots, dog, if you're really struggling, my career, 12-minute quarters on rookie. Thank me later. <laughs> Thank me later. That method seems to be easier than the street ball method. Me the street ball method still seems pretty easy, but my career, 12 minute rookie, that seemed crazy easy. A lot of people don't know about that, bro. Okay? And you could just shoot over people. A lot of people don't know you could shoot over these on these like easy settings. I even shoot over them in street ball. A lot of y'all don't know that. Here, man. I want to show y'all this right here, guys. Okay? This is very important. This is so important, bro. A lot of y'all, you're not thinking, man. I've been on at least 40 different accounts this year, right? And I'm noticing something. People don't have their badges or their hotspots and they're going to play and then they're whining about the game. Especially this year since the rebirth, right? It gets you the silver badges or whatever. People aren't getting their hotspots and maxing out their shooting badges. You have to do it. Literally, th this right here. Look, y'all are playing and you don't even got this max. How do you know the real truth of the game? You feel me? Look, Hall of Fame MIDI Magician. Bro, are you gonna miss a MIDI with that? Especially, I already gave y'all the best pull-ups in the game. Y'all go check it out for your build. I gave y'all the best releases in the game too. And I'm finna go over the best jump shots again I go, I put in different jump shots every time, but look, you want to max out your jump shots. Look, right here, Claymore, you wanna max this hole out. You wanna max out Mini Magician. You really wanna max out open looks. This is so important. It will change your game. I don't know why the goddamn modded controller guys, they're not doing uh the badge updates on all the uh, shooting badges first. Like, I don't know if I'm just tripping, but I just feel like these shooting badges change everything. Like, like it's not even close. Like when you play with, without this, and then compared to with this, it's completely different, bro. That catch and shoot, one of the most important badges, bro. People don't even got their catch and shoot max. They're gonna go play and they're missing. Look, I got this whole Hall of Fame. You feel me? 
people aren't maxing out their badges, especially because of the rebirth. I'm telling you, this is why you're missing way more than not. Look, the green machine, you gotta get this whole max. Maybe it might not do nothing this year, but I, I, I don't know in particular what, but I know overall when you get all your badges, it's way easier to shoot. I'm shooting 75% on an 83 point build, right? Look, space creator, max that hole, watch what happens. It's broken. Look, max that hole, watch what happens. You, you see these badges? You wanna max out your shooting badges, bro. The Agent 3s, you want to max this hoe out before you say, like, the shooting this and that and that and this. The the shooting's broken because Mike Wang's playing God. It's giving you random releases, and it's not letting you make it when you do time it right, bro. When you do a little bit wiggly and you still time it right, he's not letting you make it sometimes. It's annoying. It's broken, bro. It's, it's annoying. Like, like stop punishing the top players it's corny as hell mike wayne really need to lose his job bro blinders look max this hoe out watch what's gonna happen the hall of fame dead eye max this hoe out watch what's gonna happen okay limitless range max it out watch what's gonna happen you feel me i'm telling you bro max your badges if you need the method let me know i could get all the shooting badges in probably six hours overall like all of them, right? I just don't have the time, you know? This is a new build, by the way, this is a rebirth. I did all this in, in one day, all these badges you see, I did all this in two hours. Before I get into all the jump shots, I want to show y'all this, right? Get your lethal hot zones, okay? 2K Lab did a test, right? You have to at least get your hot spots. Before you play online, get your hot spots, bro. It will be way easier to shoot on every build you use. Get your hot spots. Send this to a friend. Tell them, get your hot spots. Stop making everyone miserable to play the game because you're too lazy to get your hot spots. Get them. The lethal, these purple hot zones, you have to do the art of shooting drill. I think it's open like two times a week. Y'all uh, clarify down below. And also let me know y'all's favorite jump shots down below and uh, anything else, but you know. But look, hot zones, very important. You have to get them. Now look, here are the visual cues explained by Mike Wayne. I personally use release, but you can hear what he says. But look, none of this truly matters because there's so much latency. But you know, you have to let it go before the cue of whichever one you use. It's kind of crazy, bro. But listen up, but yeah, li li listen up. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball is raised up above the head before the shooting motion begins. Push, which is the default setting, is when the shooting motion is underway and the ball is being pushed forward. And release is the point just before the ball leaves the shooter's hand. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball... Now look, the whole problem with this is there's so much latency in 2K. And there's so there's different latency in so many different modes so it's kind of hard you know you know but it's still easy right you just got to get used to it you know you got to have your prediction skills up you can't always go off the cue because there's so many different latencies. take off trigger effect something should not be vibrating in your hand you're a grown man you feel me take off trigger effect on your playstation and on the game you can keep on vibration it's cool but take off trigger effect throws you off it's ridiculous when i'll be playing wreck all i hear old heads young heads you know just turn off your jump shot meter i don't care if you don't know your jump shot figure it out you get a 20 percent plus boost without the meter tell all your friends share this video to them yeah so this jump shot right here I think it's the best jumper. Um, if you need lower ratings, you can switch the releases or change the blending. You know, if you need, if like, if you can't qualify for this, and I'm gonna show y'all other jump. I'm gonna show y'all the T Mac for the little guards and a different T Mac for bigger guards too. Maybe new jump shots too. So you know. Again. Now look for this jump shot right here. This is probably the best. It's between Curry and Mills. It's probably the best for little guards. Um, I think you have to be vet three for this or something. So if you get this and you got a little build, use that hoe and watch you go stupid green, okay? I don't remember the exact rep. Y'all let me know, man. We don't get into this goddamn Levine, okay?
okay? Levine is another nice jumper. Easy to hit with, bro, okay? You kind of go a little forward. It seemed easy to hit with, dog. It's stupid easy, okay? Look, you only need the 81, okay? And you can make this hole even lower if you want, you know? Jump shots like these are when, when y'all, like, mess up your builds and you can't get, like, particular jump shots. So you can get something probably just as good. This hole is very consistent. Try it out. Now, look, this is a version that requires a higher. Like, since I have a higher, um, like, shooting selection, I would do this hole, right? But probably the other one's better because it got higher uh, release height. Terrence, man, okay? This jump shot, you can have um, lower requirements for it, right? You can have lower requirements for it. Like, in case you can't get... This might be on the same level as T-Mac. I ain't gonna hold you. This might be better than T-Mac. A lot of people don't know that. Like, I think it low-key can, bro. I don't know. It feels more consistent. But you can get this lower than T-Mac. Look. Like, so if you mess up your build and say you got, a, like, a lower mid-range or something, use Terrence Man, right? I think this is probably the second best one, right? I think it's probably the second best one. Like for uh six five through you know six ten maybe, damn what I have this hole on, man you just hundred percent that hole I ain't gonna hold you but yeah and also for every jump shot I'm showing you, if you can't shoot just tick it down dog, tick it down before this this two K twenty two shooting patch I was shooting shots like this my release speed was all the way down that's the only way I could be consistent bro swear to you bro. And I was at, like, people would leave you open. Like, people leave you open enough to where, and if you look at the frames, the shot's not even that different. So for every jump shot, it's like four jump shots. The worse you are, the higher your shooting has to be. Please, guys, start to realize that, okay? Stop listening to creators making these damn slashers with no shooting. You can't do that, bro. Unless you are good, you have to really be a cheese meta head to be able to play like that, okay? To where you don't hinder your teammates. The worse you are, do this for any build. The worse you are, tick it down if you still can't shoot, bro. Okay? Now look, this whole like T-Mac, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. It's like you kind of fading, bro. I'm telling you, this whole butter, okay? It might not be as good as the curry, but it seemed like on the same level, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. This whole look good. And then it's like for if you got like a lower three two, like you can get uh you can get you know I'm telling you, I like this hoe. Test it out for y'all little guards. Let me know. Oh, that's the better. Oh, nah. Here's another great comp guard jump shot that I see a lot of comp cats using. Okay, check it out, man. I'm telling you. And then if you need it to be lower, just you know switch up the releases, lower it. If you can't hit with it, lower the speed. And that goddamn Trey Burke, man, you know, Ticino, you know, it's a slow jump shot, but it's butter, okay? And you also kind of go backwards when you shoot, you know? So it might not contest a lot from when someone's running towards you. You know, check it out. Easy to hit with, my boy, especially since it's a lower speed. Now, let me show y'all some big build jump shots from the Discord real quick, man, because, you know, I don't have a 610 plus build. So, you know, they sent me some, you know... Kevin Durant release. This is when you got like a big, you know, you got to be at least 6'10 plus for this hole, right? But you got to have an 86 midi or a three point to even be able to use this. Of course, you can manipulate it to use it on lower. The KD base is one of the best bases in the game, okay? Definitely if you 6'10 plus and you got like a shot on you, you put that KD on, bro. Now look, the Isaac, you know, also another build, you got to have a, you know, decentness mid range and, uh, 3.0, you know, the 82, right? But people are making bigger builds that, you know, have a higher uh, shooting rate and stats. And this is a nice one right here, you know, this Isaiah. Now, this Dwight, all you need is a 77, okay? It's a slower jump shot, you know? He rocked this, man. These are all consistent jump shots for the bigger builds, man. I know they're scamming us, but if you want to be able to shoot, <laughs> jump shot boost will help you. If you want to be able to shoot, also even better, Gatorade. Okay, um, you can probably go with one of these hoes or not even use it. Make sure you always do your weekly workouts. They took Jim Rat out the game. If you do your weekly workouts, 
on a certain level, you're going to get the extra blue bar that helps you with your shooting and everything you do, correct? Very important. Your Gatorade is going to help you shoot. You, you see how they, everything in the game is designed for you to be in a VC deficit. We are basically paying to play the game. Yeah, I ain't never thought about that. Huh? Now, one more thing. In every 2K, people take all this stuff off to make it have less lag delay. You could turn off your shot feedback. You could turn off everything. If you, like, if you feel like stuff is really bothering you, if you're lag delayed, you turn all this off, it could help. I'm going to keep it on. But they say you turn all this off. You know, they be doing this in every 2K, like the stage guys. I don't know if it help or don't. The ball trail, they turn it all off. If you're experiencing stuff and you just want to test this out, this is something you could. Hey, y'all click on this video on the screen. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo. Off the top of the dome, dome.